everybody, your executive gardener. Thanks for joining me for another episode. This episode is a little bit of a different episode, so let me tell you an interesting story. So about two weeks ago, my family went away for the weekend, and at my house, I have two dogs, I have two guinea pigs, and I have one big fluffy rabbit. And it didn't dawn on me that, well, let me back up a little bit. So you've seen my grow tower on previous episodes, and I produce a ton of lettuce, and most of you know that I grow a ton of carrots in buckets. And I'll show you what this will produce in a little bit. But uh, what it never dawned on me was that um, I didn't want my kids and my wife to go out and buy produce when I could produce lettuce and carrots for the rabbit and the guinea pig, quite frankly, but mostly the rabbit that eats the, uh, the carrot tops. And I'll show you what, what the rabbit looks like in a second. But long story short is that... Uh, what I didn't realize is that rabbit pellets or rabbit manure can benefit my garden. And um, it never dawned on me after two years of having this rabbit in my house that I could use that to produce nutrients for my plants. So a little bit something about rabbit manure. Rabbit manure is one of the few manures you can take uh, in its fresh form. I know that sounds kind of uh, disgusting. I don't need to show you what rab rabbit pellets look like, but rabbit pellets are... Uh, there's no odor to them, and they happen to be very rich in nutri excuse me, nitrogen and phosphorus, both. So you can apply those pellets to your garden, fresh in the garden, but it's best to compost them with hay and so forth. And I'll show you what I'm doing there, but this is one of those weird relationships, if any of you have a rabbit, that it's a symbiotic relationship. So in exchange for me uh, providing carrot tops and carrots to the rabbit, they produce pellets that I can compost and put in my garden. So again, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you the star of the show, Snowy the Rabbit, on the next clip, and then I'll show you the carrots I have. I produce a lot of carrots every month, and he produces a lot of pellets for my garden every month. So when you look at manures, there's a lot of different type of manures you can use for gardening: cow manure, which has been composted, uh, chicken manure. But rabbit manure, many of you have rabbits, is extremely beneficial. And like, unlike the cow manure, there is no smell to it. So uh, let me show you in this episode what I do uh, to feed the rabbit and what, the, what I take from the rabbit to use for my gardening. Hang tight. So here's the story of the show. Snowy the rabbit. So watch how he devours carrot tops. It's unbelievable. He goes through a ton of carrot tops. Of course, he's not uh, behaving now that he's on camera, but this is the rabbit that produces the pellets and eats the carrots. And every night we bring up um, probably uh, a few, well, part of a head of a lettuce and a few carrots, and he just devours those carrots. And I'll show you where I'm growing the rest of his carrots, but uh, and of course, you don't need to see it, but. Those at the bottom are rabbit pellets, most of you see, and I'll get back to that in a little bit. All right, guys, so uh, I'm not in the frame. That's okay, as long as you see the carrots. So every month, as most of you know, I plant carrots, uh, about a bucket like this a month. But uh, one of the things that I think is important for gardeners to show you is when they screw up. And uh, I screwed up in this because I didn't um, thin out the seedlings, or excuse me, the seeds, because I plant these carrots from seeds, obviously. And because of that, um, uh, I couldn't get the carrots out of the bucket. So I had to cut the bucket open. So I'm going to show you what, so take a look at that. Uh, look how thick that is. And I had to cut the bucket op open on the side to get it out. So what I'll do here is I'll take these carrots out and put them into another container. And as you can see, um, Snowy, the pet rabbit, has got a ton of carrots. These carrots are so packed in here that I couldn't get it out of the container. If you look at the bottom, look, they're everywhere. So I'm going to use this other container. And as an example, you know, because I didn't thin them out, they're long and thin. But that's okay. I mean, they taste good. And even though that I can't, my family may not be able to eat them, what we found out with a rabbit is a rabbit could care less about the orange part of the carrot. They love the green part. It's like candy to them. So uh, that's what we do. And uh, so I'm going to take the time and to thin all these out. And in between here, there's, but you know, again, I didn't thin it out, so as a result, I have thin carrots. So that's a lesson to the gardeners. 
uh, make sure you give your carrots enough room to grow. Um, so that's what I do there, and I'll put these in the refrigerator, and Snowy the rabbit will have a ton of carrots. These, this whole thing will last that, that rabbit probably a month or two, and uh, I won't have to go to the store again. He's more into, he will eat the orange part of the carrot, but he likes the green part. It's his favorite, quite frankly. So um, let me show you what I do when I get the pellets out and what I do to compost them next. So I have an open spot in the back here and I have a little bit of a raised bed that I don't use it much anymore. But again, you can use rabbit manure straight into your soil in the garden. It's one of the few manures that will not burn your plants, which is kind of cool. Again, rich in nitrogen and phosphorus. So what I do is something a little bit different. So uh, I don't need to show you what rabbit pellets look like. Most of you have seen uh, rabbit pellets, um, but it's underneath this. So what I do is I have my daughter real simple every week, uh, two times a week when she cleans the cage, she puts it into this, this uh, Tupperware container, Rubbermaid container, and then uh, she saves it when I come back from travel at the end of the week. I uh, uh, put it into here. So this is composting in the simplest form. So what I do is I put some hay down and then I put uh, the manure or the rabbit pellets in between there and I put another stack of hay just to cover it and then you moisten it and let it do its work just like regular composting. Um, the heat uh, from the manure and the hay will do its work and then what I'll do is it'll break down into a fine, finer compost. Uh, there won't be any odor to it and I'll just add it right to either my uh, garden bed or um, my potted plants. But again, nitrogen and phosphorus, which is really unusual for a manure to have, and again, there's no odor to it at all. So as I build this up, I'll continue stacking uh, layers of um, uh, almost like a sandwich, the hay and then the rabbit pellets in between, the hay on top, and uh, uh, it's about 70 degrees plus here during the day here in Houston, Texas, so it'll continue to compost and do its work. Uh, let me show you the uh, other thing that I use to feed the rabbit, which is my buffet, which is my uh, garden tower. So most of you have seen this in a previous episode, but this is the green stalk garden, garden, uh, garden grow tower. But you know, as you think about the rabbit pellets and where they get the phosphorus and nitrogen from, I feed all of this to my rabbits. So rabbits can eat spinach leaves. They can eat, ra uh, um, excuse me, collard leaves. They can eat uh, red sail leaves. They can eat lettuce. They eat all of this. So all of this goes to the rabbit and they produce um, you know, nutrients back for me. So it's as simple as that, guys. Uh, that's how it works. And uh, again, it's very cool that we have a symbiotic relationship with an animal in my house because typically all I do is spend money on that animal. But as you'll see here, I've just potted some plants. Uh, they got some peppers growing here and peppers growing there. And I will, when I plant them in the garden, use that rabbit manure to, uh, to plant it. Again, just a little side note, I have some some uh, potted tomatoes growing and some other stuff but again it's kind of neat when you have a symbiotic relationship with a animal in your house to be able to do that so quick episode kind of a funny episode hope nobody uh, is grossed out by it but um, uh, it works rabbit pellets feeding your plants in your garden hope everybody enjoys this have a good one if you like the video give me a thumbs up or share it with a friend who's looking to get into gardening until next time take care bye